My husband was working in the beer industry and just uh, noticed that there was a lack of um, beverages for people who didn't want to drink alcohol or gluten um, at all the awesome breweries around town. So we thought that um, making kombucha would be a great way to fill that void. Whitefish residents Sam Avery and her husband Pete are the co-owners of Darkside Fermenters, a flathead kombucha company made with local Flathead Valley ingredients, including fruit from Avery's family farm in Polson. We were seeing all this beautiful fruit go to waste and um, we had already been trying to come up with a good idea of how to use this awesome fruit that's grown here. Avery explains kombucha is a fermented tea drink mixed with fruit juice, spices, and sugar. She says from start to finish, the whole process to send their kombucha to market takes two weeks. The live culture is needed for the fermentation process crucial for kombucha form this mass, formerly known as a SCOBY. Avery says SCOBY stands for symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, creating the fermentation and signature kombucha taste. Sam's husband Pete says they created dark side fermenters to stand out from their competition. A play on the fact that we don't want to be like a natural or a health food beverage. We wanted to be the dark side of kombucha. While Avery says kombucha has low sugar and probiotics, dark side fermenters is meant to go alongside the brewery scene. We're on tap at a distillery. We like to add gin to it. We like to be a part of the, you know, the beverage scene is like kind of the public house scene. And next month, dark side fermenters heads to Guatemala to give back. Helping um, a, a group of uh, women helping them start their own kombucha company that they will then run. It won't be run by us here in the United States. It will be run by them after we leave so that they can sell kombucha to tourists and um, use it as a way to draw people in. In Kalispell, Marin Sioux, MTN News.